Hey everybody, this is Dream, and today we have a nice eight-game NBA slate for you. Before I get started, can you guys smash that like and subscribe button? It really helps the channel a lot. I will note that there are two late games that are not included on the main slate, so do keep that in mind. With that said, let's get into the slate. We have a pretty extensive injury report, so let's go and get into that. For the Sacramento Kings, uh, Jeter is questionable. For the 76ers, Embiid remains out, and Covington is out. For the Pacers, uh, Halliburton is out. Smith is questionable. Nesmith is questionable. For the Hawks, Hunter is out. For the Rockets, Eason is out. Brooks is out. For the Pistons, Cunningham is out. For the Hornets, Ball, Martin are both questionable. And then, uh, looks like Ball might play today. Williams is out. Hayward is out. And Washington is doubtful. For the Spurs, Collins is out. And Barlow is questionable. For the Warriors, Green is out. Paul is out. And for the Bulls, Craig is out. For the Magic, uh, Carter Jr. is questionable, Wag Franz Wagner is out, Isaac is out, Harris is out. For the Heat, Hero, Martin, and, uh, sorry, Hero and Martin are questionable, and Butler and Lowry are doubtful. Uh, for the Portland Trailblazers, Walker is questionable, Aiton is questionable, and Sharp is questionable. Uh, Williams is also out. For the Trailblazers, uh, sorry, for the uh, uh, T-Wolves, uh, Gobert is questionable. Uh, then we'll look at the Grizzlies. Uh, they have Morant out, Smart out, Adama out, and Rose out. So, a lot of injuries here. Uh, we have a couple of high-scoring games. Actually, three that are over 228 points, which are the Charlotte Sh Sh Spurs game, the Indiana-Atlanta game, and the Sacramento-Philly game. Those three games have high totals. The rest of the games are all within a few points in the 220s. Uh, with that said, uh, the slate does feature some injury situation so we definitely have some pos potential good as options from that perspective but we do have to wait on some of these questionable tags uh especially when it comes to uh, orlando and uh miami um also looking at uh charlotte you know depending if ball is end up ends up playing today also uh, with the situation and um uh let's see here sorry uh, and Portland is so we do have a lot of questionable tags which definitely will play into the slate But right now I do have some core plays that I do like we're going to look at Alperin Singen, Tobias Harris and Jalen Green to start and then we'll get into the rest of our plays So we'll start with Singen. He's one of my favorite plays on the slate. He's been pretty good all season long He's been relatively steady from a fantasy perspective and he's getting a monster amount of minutes He actually didn't get a double double last game, but he has been getting quite a few of those I look for him to get that today against Detroit, who were very weak against big guys, so I do expect him to play well here. He did score 50 fast points the last time he played them. That's kind of a ceiling for this game. And if you look at the stats for that game, he also didn't get a double-double, but he did get close. Uh, I do expect him to have a big game here and has a lot of potential for uh, uh, you know, a, a maxed-out game. Looking at Jalen Green, his price has come down quite a bit, which is definitely giving him some potential. His floor is a little bit lower than his price, but... Uh, He's been playing pretty good for the most part. He does t seem to be a little bit inconsistent, but I do like him in this matchup. He's also been solid against Detroit earlier this season, so I expect him to have a decent game here. Uh, looking at Tobias Harris with him beat out, he becomes the uh, big man on campus for this team. Uh, obviously, Maxi will have a lot of potential as well, but uh, Harris is a core play as he does get the usage that B normally gets whenever he whenever Embiid is out, and as you can see in the last game, it really paid off. So, uh, looking at other players that we like today, uh, Ty Tyrese Maxey for Philly is also in play. Uh, he's been playing absolutely great basketball, uh, especially with Embiid out, his usage goes up even more. He shot 29 and 24 and 20 uh, field goals in the last three games. I expect that to continue here. He's also getting lots of assists, which is definitely a benefit as well. Uh, and I expect him to have a monster game here. And his price, while it is up, he's still reasonable from that perspective. Looking at Trey Young, uh, he's got a great matchup here against the Pacers. Now, he is probable, so I do expect him to play here. Uh, he's been pretty solid throughout the season. His price is right about where you want it to be, no higher. But he's definitely a great option in this up-tempo game. This is the only game over 240 points on the slate, and it's at 251 right now. He's had two pretty good games against Indiana, though. One of the games, Indiana did uh, lopside them. I do expect uh, this game to be closer simply because the Pacers don't have Halliburton, and so Young should become the dominant force of the slate. 
uh, looking at DeJounte Murray uh, for them as well. He's going to have a good role for this game uh, too. Uh, he played actually better uh, against Indiana in the two games they played, but partially because his minutes didn't really go down despite the blowout the last time they played. Uh, he's also been playing fairly well, and his price is pretty good for this matchup, so I think he's a viable option here. Uh, we have some other options that are sub, uh, that are kind of value plays, one being Nick Richards. His, his minutes have been pretty uh, consistent lately, though he does tend to play anywhere from 25 to 35 minutes. Uh, he does uh, score a pretty good amount of fantasy points, and he is playing... Uh, solid and his price point is still pretty good not a must play but he's still a decent one Sadiq Bey looks really solid for Atlanta in this one his minutes are high uh, though with uh, Capella likely back maybe his minutes get hurt a little bit but I don't know that it's going to hurt him too much uh, he's been pretty good fantasy wise throughout the season in fact several guys from Atlanta have been good however some of their guys' prices are up like Bogdanovich and Arkangu so I think Bay is probably the safest option on the team from that perspective. I also have four Hail Marys to look at here. We'll start with Trey Lyles for Sacramento. Now he's not somebody that's going to get, you know, 30 fantasy points, but he's been relatively consistent lately, being over at least 15. Uh, he's had a couple of blow-up games too, but I do expect him to continue to play him in the mid-20s and minutes, uh, especially in this game against Philly, who doesn't have Embiid. I think he'll have a good opportunity to have good fantasy production production this game especially when they're one of the higher scoring games on the slate looking at cam whitmore he's also a hail mary play uh though he's his minutes are increasing uh his usage has increased the last few games and i look for that to continue even more as he is gonna start uh, i mean the rockets are pretty much uh diluted of winning so uh he's gonna get more and more minutes as the season finishes up and i look for him to have a great uh, opportunity here Looking at Nicholas Batum for Philly, he's going to have a boost with Embiid out. Uh, obviously, his minutes are somewhat uh, all over the place, and he does have a very low floor, but he does have a good enough ceiling that he's definitely worth a look. Isaiah Jackson for Indiana, also in play today, though he does carry uh, quite a bit of risk as his minutes have been very sporadic. But if, but if for the Pacers, that Smith and Nesmith were to be ruled out, or even one of them, then his, his chance of getting more minutes would definitely go up. And he does tend to score a pretty good amount of fantasy points when he actually does get the minutes worth to, to actually get them there. So with that said, guys, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below. And have a nice day, guys.